Welcome to the Trust and Believe Nomad Cast, a podcast that covers a wide range of topics. So come chill with us on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Here's your host, Mr. Anderson. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, everybody, to episode 98 of the Trust and Believe Nomad Cast. I'm your host, Mr. Anderson. Thank you for tuning in today here on the 19th of April, 2022. May is approaching. May is approaching. It's getting here. You can't stop it. Here we go. That's a new song. I appreciate you guys tuning in today. Hope you have a great Tuesday. Hope your Tuesday is better than your Monday. Peace and love. Appreciate it, y'all. All All right, so today we're going to talk about something. Here's talking on the Tuesday, here on the Tuesday. And I want to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while. And I think yesterday was almost like a prelude to it. We talked about, yesterday we talked about self-reflection and we talked about being observant, uh, transparency, uh, communication, and all those things as it relates to self-reflection and being vulnerable. And I think with this channel, I've, I guess I, I would think, and I probably, yeah, I, I think I've accomplished a lot of that. But one thing I wanted to talk about, not so much why I started the channel, even though we're going to talk about that in this episode, but I wanted to provide a reason why the word niche bothers me in a sense as it relates to YouTube. If you go on YouTube and all the YouTube experts, they tell you that you should have a channel that's just about one thing. You got to have a niche. Oh, I, I like to sew clothes. Oh, I like to work on cars. Oh, I like to paint. Oh, I like to do this. I like to work on computers or whatever. They say you shouldn't just bounce around subject to subject, topic to topic, because you'll lose your audience. And I, you know, in my opinion, I definitely disagree with that wholeheartedly. I believe that, you know, the channels are more, again, this is my opinion. I just want to put this disclaimer out. I'm not knocking any YouTube folks. I watch all your channels. I subscribe to a lot of them. My, my saying, I just want to kind of center it and, and codify this to a point where I'm getting my point across where for my channel, I don't think having a niche works, if that makes sense. So as you can see with the thumbnail here, I titled today's episode, my YouTube channel is not niche. Three reasons why I explained. And, no, and you know, I love categories. I like everything, you know, regimented. So the categories I'm talking about is passion, channel integrity, and honesty. Again, for this topic, talking about passion, channel integrity, and honesty. So the deal of it is when we're talking about a niche, right, they want you to, it's almost like being a one-trick pony. You know, you just do one thing. Well, I'm great at uh, building hangers. Well, that's the only thing you should talk about is building hangers. Well, I want to talk about other things. And when I started this Nomad Cast way back in September, almost seven months ago, eight months ago, I I wanted to have a channel when I sat down and decided this is what I want to do post-Army retirement. This is what I want to do to fill my time up and give me something to do to kind of consume my thoughts, consume my processes, consume my daily activity. This is something that I want to do. I want to talk about Life lessons, unbridled motivation, sports topics, unique storytelling, sneaker stories, and military stories. Those are things that are passionate to me. That's why they fall into this passion category. Now, those channels that I mentioned, when you talk people cutting wood, or they building shoes, or they doing whatever, that's their passion. But I think a lot of us that falls into the, the non-niche category, a lot of times our channels kind of get attacked because, well, you should you shouldn't talk about a bunch of things all the time. You lose your viewers. At the end of the day, people are gonna watch your show, or they not gonna watch it. And I used to get up so upset about you know I'm spending all this time doing all these shows and taking the time to write the script and do all these things, and I'm not getting a lot of views. But at the end of the day, I'm happy with the work. And as each episode you know progresses. The works, the works get better. Everything's get better. The topics get better. But I guess my point is when I'm saying, I think there's a passion for me. There's a passion for talking about a different, a lot of different things. When I first started the, the Nomad Cast, it was centered on military stories, centered on life lessons, 
and I thought, let me set the foundation because, you know, I can't hide that I'm retired, retired master sergeant. I wear the freaking hat. I I earned the rank, so I enjoy displaying it because it shows that, hey, this guy from Detroit, from the west side of Detroit, he came out, you know, from the city, went through one branch of service, was successful, went through another branch of service, was even more successful, married, children, everything, right? So it's a, you know, it's a beautiful thing, right? But also with that, it was a beautiful struggle. So I think it's important that, you know, I want to set the foundation on military. And then, you know, I kind of moved away from telling a lot of my military stories. And Lord, I, I got a bunch of them more. And I said, let me, let's talk about things that I really like. Gym shoes, sneakers, love that. Love motivation. Let's have something on Mondays. Let's have some. How do I want to make each day worthwhile? And for all you new subscribers and the new viewers, if you don't understand the schedule, we have Monday Mental Combat. We have Talking on a Tuesday, right? So let's explain it. Monday Mental Combat, we're talking about anything that deals with mental awareness, mental health, just to improve the way we're thinking. How do we go about our day? How do we improve our day? How do we accelerate our day? How do we de decelerate our day? How do we make the day successful? How do we improve 1% of the day? Just the way that we all can think. And it's not me saying it's your fault, it's your problem. It's us because as I'm presenting this information, I'm learning in the information I'm presenting through research. And I'm having a blast with it. I love it. You know, I was a daggone uh, instructor in the Army teaching uh, MRT. And we talked about that, the mentals, how the mentals affect the physicals, the physicals, you know, affect the soul, so on and so forth. So let's, you know, I put that knowledge to use talking about mental health, right? So that's why I titled it Monday Mental Combat. When we talk about Tuesdays, talking on the Tuesday, it's a random topic. I could talk about the secrets of White Castle to the world's greatest mysteries or what have you. It's just a random conversation. You know, I throw sports in there, whatever fits, whatever I feel in my spirit to talk about, we talk about. I used to have way back Wednesday, but I don't do way back Wednesdays no more due to the fact that I take a break midweek from the show. So way back Wednesday was telling either a life story, which equates to a life lesson or telling the military story, which equates to a life lesson. The life lessons, lessons learned that I learned and hopefully provide a springboard for you guys to, to look at my lessons and my failures and successes and say, you know what? I relate to that. I, I, I dig what this guy is saying. I've been there. I've done that. Got the t-shirt, if you will. Thursdays, I've always, it's all about gym shoes, sneaker reviews. I'm a sneaker head, love gym shoes. I, I probably hoard more shoes than I should, but it's just a kind of product of my environment. That's where we were judged. And for the first few months of the Nomad cast, I didn't do any episodes on Friday. Initially, it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and that was it. So now it's Monday, Tuesday, nothing Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday is a, a finally is Friday. We have fun. We have a fun subject. We've talked about favorite TV shows, favorite movies. I've done book reviews, so on and so forth. I'm laying, I laid out, out that schedule just to prove a point about my passion for this channel passion for the information that I'm providing. You know what I mean? And again, I'm not knocking any other YouTubers as it relates to niche, but I think for me, the channels are better when you have a myriad of topics to talk about. When you log on to your YouTube and you subscribe and you hit that notification button, right? You know what you're getting on Mondays. You know what you're getting on Tuesdays. You know what you're getting on Thursdays. You know what you're getting on Fridays. So I can, I, I believe I can reach more people, right? And it's going to take time because the subscribers are low, but I'm loyal to the ones I have. So it's going to take time to be able to reach different people. And I know the content is good. It's improving. The content is good, but I'm not fighting against the viewers. I think I'm fighting against the algorithms. And that's a whole nother subject I don't want to get into. But, you know, as I close this part out about passion, very passionate about the channel. And I just don't think that I just want to talk about one thing. I've done cooking reviews on this channel as well. I just don't want to. I can cook, right? No shame to it. But I don't want to have a channel where I'm just cooking because there's so many other things I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about sports. I'm passionate about my time in the military. I'm passionate about mental health. 
I'm passionate about random topics, current events, trending events. I'm passionate about sports. I'm passionate about gym shoes. I'm passionate about old movies and TV shows and just regular conversation. I just, you know, I guess all I'm trying to say with the whole passion thing, I just want to talk about a bunch of different things. And I believe that, you know, no one should no no one should look bad if they're just talking about one thing, if that makes sense. Again, you know, the, all the experts, the YouTube experts, well, you shouldn't just talk about a bunch of different topics. You should just have one thing. Well, I, you know, whatever works for your channel works for you, but what works for, for my channel may not work for you. I guess we could say it like that. All right, so let's talk about channel flexibility. And I kind of touched on some points in the passion segment. I love channels that talk about a bunch of different things. I don't want to talk about the same thing over and over and over. Hey, this great guy builds TVs. That's phenomenal. What else can you do? It's almost like when we was in the army, it's almost like a one trick pony. Hey, this guy, is, he's good. He or she is good at running. What else can they do? Well, he's a horrible leader. He's a toxic leader. He's a horrible person. That dog, he runs fast. And that's the way I look at YouTube channels. Again, shout out to the folks that's doing the, the right thing with their channels. But I just think for me, I don't I don't want to fall into that niche. And I don't want to make this sound like I'm just bombarding on other people's channels. I'm more concerned with the experts that's telling you how your channel should be. Because at the end of the day, you set up your camera, you do all the principal photography, you write your script, you do your thumbnails, you do you, you direct, you produce, you edit post-production you do all that you should make the channel how you want again now you can look at the other experts and kind of take some of the things the do's and don'ts from their channels and the things that they're doing great and integrate it into your channel now you provide yourself that channel flexibility where a guy can tune in on the monday if he all he cares about is mental health or a guy can tune in on the thursday talking about gym shoes i want to have i guess i want to have a smorgasbord of topics where I can just, again, like I stated in the previous segment, where I can reach myriads of people. This guy likes gym shoes. Well, this girl, she loves old shows. Well, this guy, he loves talking about mental health. Well, this guy loves talking about random stuff. And I think for me, it's fulfilling because I have a lot of things that I can do well. It's a lot of things that I don't do well. And there's a lot of things I don't do, right? And there's a lot of things I won't talk about on this channel. But I again... To be to be honest and have you know honesty and integrity, I think it's important to have channel flexibility. You have to. It's all about being flexibility and being diverse with the material. I think my material reaches to everybody from black, white, uh, Hispanic, Asian, whoever. I think I can touch everybody with my channel and not just stick into one thing. Again, channel flexibility is very important to me. Last one I want to talk about is honesty. Every story I've told, every military story I've told, every life lesson, every thought, every anything that ever come out of my mouth, it's all about honesty. There is honesty. Now, some of the stories that I told when I was that person in that time, I wasn't honest. Right? It's like the time when I told the story about uh, I was getting a whooping at this mall in Dearborn, Michigan. And I wasn't honest with my father when he asked where the bathroom was at because I wasn't, you know, I didn't want to get a whooping. That's what I'm talking about. I'd be, you know, my honesty wasn't good there, but I am good. I am comfortable with being honest, being transparent, and I, you have to be vulnerable, as I stated yesterday, with the information. And if I can't provide anybody with honesty, why, why am I doing the show? Because there's a lot of shows on YouTube. It's a lot of shows in life. Life period where people are just lying through their freaking teeth, lying through their nose, lying through everything. It's all about honesty with me because there's so many people that I've been stationed with that can look at these shows and say, yeah, I remember I was there with you. I was there with you. I remember that. And there's a lot of family members that was there during the times when I talk about the gym shoes or I talk about something happening in Detroit or any situations where I've been stationed somewhere, family, whatever. And I think to have a good channel, you have to be honest with yourself because if you're not honest, your audience is not going to believe you. Now, everything that you're saying is, hasn't been authenticated. Everything that you're saying has not been validated. And you're almost like you're fake. It's almost like those false prophets. 
So my advice for anybody that's starting a uh, YouTube channel, like I'm some YouTube expert, is just to be honest. Develop the show that you want to do, but make sure you're honest. Your integrity is on the line. Anytime you hit record, anytime you say hello, whatever, your integrity is on the line. Just be honest. All right, so I think that wraps up today's show. Kind of a short show. Again, this is something I just want to talk about. I want to kind of get off my chest, if you will. Uh, we talked about my YouTube channel is not niche. Three reasons why uh, I've explained it. Hope, hopefully, if I, I have explained it to the point where it's understood by the masses. I would probably, I probably would like to do a part two on this sometime moving forward down the road. But again, we talked about the passion. Reason why my channel is not niche because of my passion, my channel integrity, channel flexibility, and last and not least is honesty. So uh, my closing remarks, thank you guys for tuning in today. Have a great day. Uh, remember, there's no shows tomorrow. So we'll be back Thursday with another Jim Shoe story and Jim Shoe review. So appreciate all the love. Peace and love, everybody. Everybody have a great day. Have a better Tuesday than you had Monday. Peace and love. Godspeed. Let's say it all together. Trust and believe. See y'all Thursday. Thanks.